everyone, uh, it is October, which is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so I thought I'd do a video not just about breast cancer because there's a history of breast cancer in my family, but about my boobs. So here's a little clickbait. So in all seriousness, I, I don't like saying this, but I do have to say it a lot of times. I hate my boobs. And if you're a small breasted woman who's about to say, why do you hate your boobs? They're perfect. My boobs are far from perfect, and there's a long story behind it. So I grew up um, in a family where large breasts is a, I don't want to say a problem, but it is a common occurrence, and women in my family have had breast reductions, and I have had one too. And if you're saying to yourself, Nicole, you are 25 and you've had plastic surgery, let me make it a little bit more complicated. I was 13 when I had my boobs done. Um, and. I think saying you've had your boobs done, a lot of people automatically think that you've made them bigger. I had my boobs done and made them smaller, although they're pretty much back to the same size that they were. So when I was very, very young, um, I started developing way before middle school even started. Like I started middle school not only with a broken finger and like a cast on my hand, but with like a C cup. So I was pretty well endowed for a sixth grader, which is ridiculous. It started to affect not only my health, Physically, but also mentally, um, I was developing a lot of hunched overness. I still have that because I grew up with not the best punk, like posture because of my boobs and dance kind of helped, but it also didn't at the same time. I still have a lot of shoulder problems. So when I was in seventh, eighth grade, um, I really started to consider it and talked with my mom and I ended up getting a breast reduction in the spring of my eighth grade year. So that was in 2007, six, five, four, 2003. So in 2003, um, I got my boobs made smaller, but it was something that needed to happen. So I did it during spring break. Um, I went in and I had a breast augmentation to make my boobs smaller. Um, and I had a very sweet doctor who was old man, very sweet. Um, I think he still practices, probably not though, because it's been like 12 years. I had them made smaller. Um, they told me that there were going to be a lot of possibilities that my boobs would grow back to the size I was, that um, later down the line if I ever wanted to breastfeed and have children, that that could become a non-thing that could happen. I could never be allowed that. Um, they said that I could lose a lot of sensation and unfortunately, um, it's been a while and I still, it's been 11 years since I had my surgery. Um, my boobs did grow back pretty much to the same size that I was um, at the time when I, well, not the same size, I'm still significantly smaller. Um, but at the time of my breast augmentation, I was a size 34F, I believe I was, and no 13 year old should be a size F bra size and have so many confidence issues that definitely screwed with my, it, it really affected my personality and my ability to kind of express myself in ways that I really wanted to because I felt like people were always staring at my chest and that's not cool for a 25 year old, let alone a 13 year old. So um, it's, it's something that I don't love to talk about but it's definitely something I'm proud that I took the opportunity when I was younger. Um, it was covered by insurance at that time because I was starting to develop back problems and it really was affecting me health wise. Like I, I, I didn't run in gym. I had to wear four sports bras in gym alone just so I could f feel normal. And I hate using the word normal, but like even now, I don't like not wearing a bra even to sleep because I feel like my boobs just take over my entire body. Um, and it's, it's a big mental thing for me and it's not something that a lot of people like to talk about, but it's not something a lot of people do talk about, so. It's a big mental thing for me. It's not something a lot of people talk about, um, especially people who make their boobs smaller. It's less common for people to talk about that than it is for people to talk about getting their boobs made larger. So it's this is kind of my way to share my story and I thought it'd be appropriate to do it in pink for breast cancer awareness um, because I do have a history of breast cancer in my family um, on both my mother's and my father's side. My Both my grandmothers um, have had breast cancers and are survivors, so I'm very thankful for that. And knock on wood, no one else in my family um, suffers from this horrible, horrible disease, which is very treatable if you do early detection. So please, ladies, um, 
go in for mammograms, uh, they're go in for self mammograms, learn how to do a self examination. There are tips below. I'm going to put uh, a couple links to um, how to do a self examination if you've never done it before. It is very simple, very easy, and very non intrusive. Um, I will probably start getting mammograms in the next couple of years just because I'm very cautious of that stuff, especially since I did have a surgery. Um, and I, even now at 25, I'm not, I don't want to cry because I'm going to probably, um, I'm not happy with my boobs. Um, I unfortunately have very bad scarring, which I did go in for consultation um, when I was in college and the plaster surgeon that I went to talk to, um, I didn't end up having the procedure, but he did say that um, the scar tissue was really bad and that I would probably be living with these scars um, for the rest of my life. And usually when you get a press fragmentation of scarring, it's going to be there, but um, my scarring is still pretty bad. Um, it still makes me very self-conscious um, and I don't like it. Um, so this is something I definitely thought would be important to share because it is a part of who I am. Um, and a lot of my friends don't even know about the whole story. I mean, a lot of some of my friends in college know, some of my friends from high school know because they've known me for 10 plus years. Um, but it's, it's something I wanted to share because I don't think that there are a lot of stories of women who have gone through the process of making their breasts smaller. And it's a really psychological thing because unfortunately our society puts so much emphasis on boobs that when you feel like your boobs are too much and you're taking them away, it's kind of like you're kind of looked at like you're crazy. Um, and that shouldn't be the case. You should feel pride in yourself, whether that is making your breasts smaller or larger or changing them or removing them for health reasons. Um, so it's something I wanted to share because I definitely think it's an important story, especially during Breast Cancer Awareness Month, as I said. So that's, that's my boob story. And that's why I kind of hate my boobs. Like, they're definitely, they're great boobs. Like, they look good and they make me look like I have a legit hourglass figure. And I mean, I'm not going to lie about that, but I don't know if there will be a day that I will be 100% comfortable with the boobs that I have. Um, or the boobs that I have been changed in my life. So, yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've ever had self-conscious issues with your body um, because it's it's okay to not feel 100% secure, but it's okay to also love yourself because you should love yourself. Um, I mean, my friend Megan Tonjus has a great campaign over about loving your butt, so you guys can go check out Booty Revolution because that's a legit thing that I love because I love Megan and I love the message that it has. Um, I feel like I need to start a booty revolution in accordance with her booty revolution. Maybe me. I don't know. But, um, yeah. start a booby revolution and talk about why you love your boobs in the comments below or on Twitter. I'd be like, I love my boobs. Why? Let's, let's even throw a hashtag with it. Hashtag, I love my boobs because. And tweet me at that so you guys can, we can all share our stories about why we love our boobs. And also you can hashtag it with, I hate my boobs because. And let me know why you hate your boobs. Um, because boobs are boobs and yeah, I just said boobs a lot in this video. So yeah, don't forget to tweet me hashtag either I love my boobs because or hashtag I hate my boobs because let me know in the comments below and thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give this video a nice big thumbs up. Check in the links below for information about breast cancer awareness um, and self examinations and mammograms because that's an important thing. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All the links are in there below. And so, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!